The Battle of Lectium was an Athenian victory in the Corinthian War. In the battle, the Athenian general Iphicrates took advantage of the fact that a Spartan hoplite regiment operating near Corinth was moving in the open without the protection of any missile throwing troops. He decided to ambush it with his force of javelin throwers, or peltists. By launching repeated hit and run attacks against the Spartan formation, Iphicrates and his men were able to wear the Spartans down, eventually rooting them and killing just under half. This marked one of the first occasions in Greek military history on which a force of peltists had defeated a force of hoplites. Chapter 1 Prelude In 392 BC, a civil war had taken place at Corinth, in which a group of pro Spartan oligarchs was defeated and exiled by anti Spartan Democrats. Those exiles cooperated with Spartan forces in the region to gain control of Lechium, Corinth's port on the Corinthian Gulf. They then repulsed several attacks by the Democrats based at Corinth and their Theban and Argive allies and secured their hold over the port. The Athenians then sent a force to assist in defending Corinth, with Iphicrates commanding the Peltists. The Spartans and the exiles, meanwhile, raided Corinthian territory from Lechium, and in 391 BC King Agesilaus led a large Spartan army to the area and captured several strongpoints. The Athenians and their allies were largely bottled up in Corinth, but eventually found an opportunity to take advantage of Spartan negligence. Chapter 2 Battle While Agesilaus moved about Corinthian territory with the bulk of his army, he left a sizable force at Lechium to guard the port. Part of this force was composed of men from the city of Amicli, who traditionally returned home for a certain religious festival when on campaign. With this festival approaching, the Spartan commander at Lechium marched out with a force of hoplites and cavalry to escort the Amiclians past Corinth on their way home. After successfully leading his force well past the city, the commander ordered his hoplites to turn and return to Lechium, while the cavalry continued on with the Amiclians. Although he would be marching near the walls of Corinth, he expected no trouble, believing that the men in the city were thoroughly cowed and unwilling to confront him. The Athenian commanders in Corinth, Iphicrates, who commanded the Peltists, and Callias, who commanded the Hoplites, saw that an entire Spartan Mora, or regiment, of six hundred men was marching past the city unprotected by either Peltists or cavalry, and decided to take advantage of this. Accordingly, the Athenian hoplites formed up just outside Corinth, while the Peltists pursued the Spartan hoplites, flinging javelins at them. To stop this, the Spartan commander ordered some of his men to charge the Athenians, but the Peltists fell back, easily outrunning the hoplites, and then, when the Spartans turned to rejoin their unit, the Peltists followed them and continued to throw their javelins, inflicting several casualties. This process was repeated several times, with similar results. Even when a group of Spartan cavalrymen arrived, the Spartan commander made the curious decision that they should keep pace with the hoplites in pursuit, instead of racing ahead to ride down the fleeing peltists. Unable to drive off the peltists, and suffering losses all the while, the Spartans were driven back to a hilltop overlooking Lechium. The men in Lechium, seeing their predicament, sailed out in small boats to as close as to the hill as they could reach, about a half mile away. The Athenians, meanwhile, began to bring up their hoplites, and the Spartans, seeing these two developments, broke and ran for the boats, pursued by the Peltists all the way. In all, 250 of the 600 men in the regiment were killed. Chapter 3 Aftermath News of the Spartan defeat was a profound shock to Agesilaus, who soon returned home to Sparta. In the months following Agesilaus' departure, Iphicrates reversed many of the gains that the Spartans had made near Corinth, recapturing three of the forts that the Spartans had previously seized and garrisoned. He also launched several successful raids against Spartan allies in the region. Although the Spartans and their oligarchic allies continued to hold Lechium for the duration of the war, they curtailed their operations around Corinth, and no further major fighting occurred in the region.